In 1873, the local authorities of the town of Selye, in what is now Slovenia, petitioned the Austro-Hungarian Emperor to allow them to build a factory nearby. The task was entrusted to the highly respected expert Albert Brunner, who drew up the plans for the first smelting and ceramic factory. Under his direction, Sincana Selye became a very successful operation, and for his dedication he was eventually honoured by the Emperor Franz Josef. Albert Brunner ran Sincana until his death and laid the strong foundations for the company that remain to this day. Zinc processing is the oldest operation and dates from 1875. In 1934, Zinkana acquired a chemical plant at Hwasnik and established chemical engineering works in Selye. In 1937 with the production of zinc graphic plates. In 1962, Zincana took over the chemical plant of Mozilla. The engineering department has existed from the very beginning and is responsible for power and maintenance at all plants and factories within the company. In 1973, Zinkana initiated production of titanium dioxide. Veflon was launched in 1970 to meet the demand for better protection from corrosive materials. The company's reputation is dependent upon the quality of its management services. With state-of-the-art equipment and processes, they provide the highest quality service possible. The management services team is an elaborately structured organization which interfaces with all Sincana's plants and factories. The Sincana factory is situated on the outskirts of the ancient town of Selye, near the Adriatic coast of Slovenia, a small Central European country. Titanium ore is first agitated with concentrated sulfuric acid, which succeeds in converting the titanium dioxide into titanol sulfate. It is then purified and hydrolyzed in a number of stages. The resultant gel is washed and treated with chemicals that alter the physical texture and crystal form through drying and calcination. Although the product already displays the characteristics of a pigment, it still falls short of market requirements. The unrefined pigment is consequently 
surface treated, usually with a combination of hydrated alumina, silica and or zirconium. The manufacture of this highly sought after product involves a sequence of 22 basic and 18 supporting processes. As a result of its ability to protect materials against the destructive effects of sunlight and weather, as well as due to its extreme bleaching and coating power, titanium dioxide is literally present in every facet of modern life. This uniquely white pigment, for which no substitute is expected to be found in the short or long term, is commonly used in the manufacture of paints and coatings of every type, as well as in plastics, papers, rubbers, ceramics, welding electrodes, foodstuff packaging, medicines and toothpastes. More than 95% of the titanium dioxide produced is exported. In addition to titanium dioxide, the manufacturing process also results in the production of waste sulfuric acid, some of which is recycled while the rest is neutralized. Gypsum is another byproduct and is brought to market. White gypsum is used in cement, in agriculture and in the construction industry. Red gypsum is used to build noise and flood protection barriers and in a variety of other fillings. We think about the future every day. Therefore, we constantly invest in upgrading our technology, consistent with best practice, in order to minimize any negative environmental impact, providing safe and healthy working conditions for our employees, along with offering constant educational opportunities, is of great concern to us. In June 2009, our environmental health and safety policies were certified as in conformance with ISO 14001 and OHSAS 18001. The firm foundations laid in the past are maintained and built upon by new leaders, new researchers and new workers who come together to write the next page in Sinkana's history. Sinkana's future will be assured by the development of new products in the field of nanotechnology and by constant improvements in its existing products. We will continue to build on the firm foundations laid in the past into the future.